Welcome to a journey through British railway history, a tale of ambition, innovation and one unforgettable prototype. This is the story of the English Electric DP1, better known as the Deltic. In the post-war years, British Railways was desperate to modernise. Steam was no longer the future. It was noisy, expensive and inefficient. Enter English Electric, a company with a bold vision and powerful allies. In 1955, they unveiled the DP-1, a 3,300 horsepower prototype locomotive equipped with two Napier Deltic engines. A revolutionary design originally developed for Royal Navy patrol boats. It was light, fast and shockingly powerful. DP-1 was never meant to be a workhorse. It was a demonstrator. A rolling sales pitch designed to show just how far diesel technology could go. Initially allocated to the London Midland region, DP-1 soon found a more suitable home on the East Coast Main Line, where its power and speed were best put to the test. It hauled express passenger services at speeds that steam engines could barely match. But despite its performance, DP-1 wasn't perfect. It was complex, expensive to maintain, and its engines were far more suited to short naval bursts than long-haul rail service. Still, British Railways was impressed. They placed an order for 22 production models, each refined and more reliable. These would become the Class 55 Deltics, legends in their own right. DP-1 was a head-turner. Inspired by American diesel locomotives, it had a sleek, streamlined body and an unmistakable nose. But it's true, brilliance lay inside. The twin-engine configuration gave it immense power without exceeding weight restrictions. It was a marvel of British engineering, overpowered, overbuilt and unlike anything the rails had seen before. DP-1 only saw about six years of service. In 1961, an oil leak damaged one of its engines beyond repair. Rather than replace it, British Rail retired the locomotive. It had fulfilled its purpose. The Class 55s were already taking over, and DP-1 had become a relic of its own success. By 1963, it was handed over to the Science Museum in London. In time, it would find a more permanent home at the National Railway Museum in York, and later at Locomotion in Shildon. Was the DP-1 a success? It depends on how you measure it. As a daily runner, it was short-lived. But as a technological pioneer, it changed everything. It proved that diesel-electric locomotives could match, even surpass, steam on performance, paving the way for the diesel revolution in British Rail. It was a locomotive ahead of its time, and for many enthusiasts, it was love at first sight. Today, you can see the original DP-1 preserved at the Locomotion Museum in Shildon, County Durham. It doesn't run, and likely never will again, but it remains a powerful symbol of a time when British Rail dared to dream big. The twin-engine configuration, though ambitious for its time, raises another question. Was it a technological overreach or did it lay the crucial groundwork for future diesel innovations? And as we stand today in an era dominated by electric traction and emerging hydrogen technologies, one can't help but wonder, does the DP-1 still hold lessons for us in power, engineering boldness and the relentless pursuit of progress? The English electric DP-1 wasn't just a locomotive, it was a vision of the future. Bold, unconventional and full of potential. Its spirit lives on not just in preserved steel, but in the lessons it taught and the icons it inspired. If you enjoyed this nostalgic look at one of Britain's most iconic prototype locomotives, please hit that like button, share this video with your fellow railway enthusiasts and don't forget to subscribe for more stories from the golden age of rail. Let's keep these legends alive, one track at a time.